You churches are no good. You're no good and you know it. A twin vaccine campaign? What is that? We're going to get into the details, guys. Right off the top, let me mention this really quick. I'm now over on Rumble. I encourage you guys to go over there, subscribe to my Rumble channel. The link is in the description. We were recently completely demonetized here on YouTube. We could lose the YouTube channel at any point. So Rumble is our backup. We're uploading videos over there now. Get on over there and sign up. Now, because we lost our revenue, guys, we need your help now more than ever to help support the ministry. A couple different ways you could do that. One through PayPal. PayPal link down below. You could do either a one-time donation or a monthly donation. Either one is a great blessing to us. Or you could sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. Patreon link down below as well. There you're going to get access to all my bonus content, my podcast where I talk more about sensitive information, as well as all the links to the YouTube videos are going up over there on the Patreon as well because YouTube will not always alert you for when new content goes out. So Patreon is just a great way to make sure you just don't miss any of my content. I highly recommend it. Now, all that being said, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Let's talk here about this Christian couple. These are UK pastors they live in Somerset over in the UK. Scott and Rowan Patterson have launched what they're calling a Twin My Vaccine campaign. That's right. Now, this is supposed to be a fundraiser campaign campaign to help out countries that have not yet been able to receive the corona vaccine because, well, they just don't have the money to afford it. They can't get it over there. Now, so far, there's over 130 countries that have yet to receive this vaccine. However... What uh, Pastor Scott here is looking to do is to help in his own church by those in the church who have already received their vaccine to make an equal donation to that which whatever their vaccine cost to go ahead and put into a donation box and then be able to get that money off to the countries that are in need. Now, when they interviewed his wife Rowan about this, she said she was so excited about the opportunity to reach people for Christ this way. This is a loving thing to do. We've heard this before, right? It's so loving to get this vaccine out there to other people. And that she said her congregation is so happy about the vaccine being out. They're actually chanting hooray. They're actually chanting hooray for the vaccine. What they should be doing is they should be chanting hooray for Jesus Christ. But they're not doing that. They're chanting hooray. They're celebrating a vaccine. Why are you celebrating a vaccine? Are you making a vaccine an idol instead of God? I'm just saying, you hear this all the time. People talking about it all the time. Oh, they're looking, all the faith is in the vaccine. What about God? You can make anything an idol. You could certainly make a vaccine an idol. So this twin my vaccine campaign, evil. Don't try and tell me that this is a loving thing to do according to what Jesus would say. No, it's not. It's not. And I've warned about this before, that these churches were going to be fully on board with this. A lot of them are being paid money to help push or advertise or collect donations, whatever it is. They're being paid to do it. Many of them even becoming vaccination sites themselves for their congregation. Or others in general, just come on down to the church. If you don't want to go down to another site somewhere else you're not comfortable with, come to the church where you're comfortable with. Come over, give us your arm, we'll give you the jab. But they're not concerned about bringing Christ into the world. To those who really need him, those, are de- those who are desperate, those who are hurting, that have a hole in their, in, their, in their life that's missing that only Christ can fill. No, they don't want to do that. What about a campaign to reach the lost? What about that kind of a campaign? Forget a vaccine campaign. You know, as part of our ministry outreach here, we always, unlike what this church is doing, what these pastors are doing, we want to reach people for Christ. And for those watching me right now, if you've never had that opportunity, we want to give you the opportunity now. How do you do it, you might ask? It's very simple. For one, you repent of your sins. Repent means to turn from something, not just to say you're sorry but turning from a lifestyle, turning from a habit, whatever it is that's contrary to what the word of God would say, you turn from that. You ask Christ to forgive you. He will. And then when you do that, invite him into your heart. Be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become a child of God. You will have eternal life with the Lord. You know, that is the greatest decision you're ever going to make while you're on this earth about your eternity. Your salvation is your greatest decision. Everybody has a free will to do it. 
But the question is, will you make the right decision? Will you choose to stand with the Lord this day? Or will you stand with the world? Because for me, there's only one clear decision. I put my hope and faith in Jesus Christ. I don't put my hope and faith in a vaccine. And I don't support a church or any other organizations that try and fundraise for a vaccine effort, especially churches. It has no place in the church. And I'll continue to talk about that, I'm sure, on future videos. Guys, let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. All the links, again, to donate can be found down below. It is a great blessing to us. We appreciate it. And don't forget, check me out on Rubble. Subscribe to me there. The link down below as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.